and we're live. <laughs> hey, now nah, what's good, swag team homie, zombie gang homie? It's your boy Stax Montana Dog, finally back with some real nigga stories, man. And I know I owe y'all an explanation, dog. I I know, man. Trust me, I know. I took a long time off on Real Nigga Stories, but here's the reason why, man. You know, recently, well, not recently, but in January, I had a daughter or whatever. And I just felt like, man, I'm a father now, man. I, I just grew out of that phase of Real Nigga Stories and stuff like that, but then I realized. Like, dog, my daughter don't understand shit I'm saying right now, dog. She's still a baby. Plus, I know you guys missed them and everything, so I had to drop some more Real Nigga Stories for y'all. Are you ready? To ride this motherfucking roller coaster of real nigga stories. Oh yeah, and by the way, don't even mind my hair, dog. I'm just going through a phase where I just don't want to get my hair cut. Like, my hair is dumb, extra long, dog. I'm just black, so it just naps up and stuff like that. Now this real nigga story right here, man. This one dates back to like seventh or eighth. Damn, what the hell? Which one? Yo, I'm getting old as shit. I don't even got. Damn, I think it was like it's seventh or eighth grade, dog. But I remember in gym we had to take the presidential fitness test. I don't know if you ever done that, but it's like a like an obstacle course type shit that you gotta run through. You gotta do all these push ups and sit ups and all this other dumb ass shit. Like nigga, what the fuck? Like fuck you, fuck you training us for the Marines or some shit, nigga. We're in middle school, goddamn. Like relax, dog. Relax, dog. Relax. But anyway, man, we had to do that shit right there and like leading up to it, cause like the like the presidential fitness joint, it was like an end of the year test or end of the semester or end of the cycle test so we like practice it for it and all this other shit and it was just one fat ass bitch dog this one fat bitch that's never prepared for gym and shit her ass always sitting on the bleachers eating motherfucking snickers and goddamn skittles and shit dog we be in gym running laps and shit next thing you know you hear a fucking rapper open and shit like what the fuck everybody look over to the bleachers fat bitch over there with candy and shit she be like i ain't sharing Start eating the fuck out of a snicker, dog. I never seen a motherfucking person eat a snicker in one fucking bite. She set the shit on the tip of her lips and just pushed that shit in, dog, and that shit was gone. I ain't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, but hey, dog, you you know me, man. If, if it's fat, it ain't stacks. If I can't fuck with a fat bitch, oh no. But anyway, bottom line of that is, this fat bitch never fuck prepared for gym and shit. So she wasn't getting none of the practicing, dog. She was like, fuck it, like, I don't even give a fuck about health. I don't, bitch, <laughs> obviously, I don't give a fuck about health. I don't give a fuck about the president. I don't give a fuck about running life. I don't give a fuck about these push-ups. All I give a fuck about my motherfucking snacks and lunch. That bitch came to school just for lunch, my nigga. Like, that's how real shit was. But you know me. You know your boy, Mr. Pow Pow. Your boy Stax is prepared, dog. I'm in there doing a push-up. Get my diamonds on. Get my motherfucking one hands on. Get them sit-ups popping, dog. I was getting everything in. You know I was making sure my motherfucking ass was prepared for this shit, dog. And plus, you know, when, like, when you're a young boy and shit, you always compete with stuff like that. Everything is a fucking competition when you a goddamn eighth grade. So the day finally rolls around for this presidential fitness test dog and your boy is pretty prepared dog you know so i started my day off right i got up brushed my motherfucking teeth got dressed for school i jogged to school a little bit trying to make sure i had that stamina i got to school that was the only thing on my mind i'm focused on this motherfucking test i'm like dog i'm about to pass this shit and i'm gonna be better than everybody that took this motherfucking dog i'm gonna style on all these niggas now the time finally come dog it's time for gym dog you already know i'm ready now like i told y'all before it's like an obstacle course you gotta run through this shit you gotta do certain push-ups here certain sit-ups here, goddamn jumping jack, pull up, swinging on the damn monkey bars, all types of weird shit. Like I said, motherfucking marine practice, dog. Like pretty much. Now the funny thing is, dog, you test one by one, and they time you, so the spotlight is on you. You on the motherfucking hot seat. Everybody looking at your ass. So my turn comes around and shit. You already know. Like I said, I was ready. I got up in that motherfucker. I got halfway through the course, dog, and I'm over there like. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was kicking my motherfucking ass, bro. That was some real shit right there, my nigga. I thought I was gonna breeze through it. Nah, dog. I was stressing, goddamn. But I finally ended up making it through. I barely fucking passed. I think I got like barely average time going through this shit. Like, that shit was that serious. So now, remember the fat bitch that eat the Snickers and Skittles and shit? How the motherfucking snaps up under her titties and her rolls and all of that shit? Remember that bitch? Now it's her motherfucking turn. And me, I just assumed this bitch wasn't even gonna participate, dog. I'm like, man, this bitch ain't got about to run through this shit. Her ass ain't been prepared for gym all goddamn year. I think she about to take a fucking presidential fitness test and pass this bitch, especially after the stress I just went through taking that shit. I'm like, man, this bitch ain't even gonna attempt this shit. But boy... Was I wrong? I had this fat bitch totally fucked fucked up. And I think honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, this probably was my first encounter 
or the hybrid fat bitch, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, if you don't know what a hybrid fat bitch is, man, I explained to one of my earlier real nigga stories what it was, dog. And basically, it's like a fat bitch, right? She's fat. She built like a motherfucking linebacker at the top. But this bitch got like baby legs. The bitch like an upside down fucking Dorito. And the hybrid fat bitch is the fat bitch you gotta watch out for. Because these bitches are surprisingly athletic. They remind you like a fucking... Glenn Davis type nigga. Fat as fuck, but somehow this motherfucker can dunk. I don't know how. Now they counted down. Three, two, one. This fat bitch was knelt down looking like JJ Watt, boy. She was ready to fucking rush the quarterback, my nigga. They said one. This fat bitch took off. Shoot, 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 shoot. Boy, this fat bitch was running so fast, her motherfucking hair was floating in the wind. Fat bitch was running so fast, dog. I'm happy she had brakes because she didn't have with a fluke right through the fucking wall. Fat bitch was running so fast, if she would have fell over, she would have bounced right back up and just kept fucking running, dog. Fat bitch was running so fucking fast i swear dog she had to break the space time continuum like the, her upper body was still as fuck her legs was moving a fucking mile a minute bottom line dog this fat bitch was moving that bitch like a fucking stolen truck my nigga she was gone bro this fat bitch had to be like fucking um an athlete in, in her past life or something dog she hopped over that first motherfucking wall bro the way she hopped over that fucking wall bro it, it probably like back then it probably came up to like my waist or some shit like that but this fat bitch put one fucking hand on that wall, and the rest of her body just flipped over that bitch. Hit the ground in a fucking military roll. <laughs> Hop back up and started taking it again, my nigga. Now, at the very end of the fucking obstacle course, it got to the last part. The last part, you gotta climb the rope all the way to the top and dang the motherfucking bell. Bro, when I say this fat bitch got upper body strength, nigga, jet strength. Nigga, that shit was strong. That bitch was strong. This bitch climbed that rope with no legs at all. She was from here. Whoop, 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 whoop. That bitch was moving up that motherfucking rope. Now, don't get me wrong. She wasn't moving up the rope as fast as she was running, but the way she was getting up that rope with no legs, dog, that shit was like the most incredible thing I've probably ever seen in my fucking life. And I watched the goddamn birth of a child, dog. So just imagine. Man, back then, if cell phones was as good as they are now, the world star was out, bro. This fat bitch would have been on the front page, my nigga. The front motherfucking page. I'm surprised this fat bitch ain't end up on ESPN or some shit. But anyway, man, bottom line of this shit, I never knew fat bitches was that fast, dog. And like I said, it's not all fat bitches, though. It's them hybrid fat bitches. Them hybrid fat bitches, they about to take over the world, my nigga. They're going to be like the elite race. Well, not race, but... Fuck it, they, fat bitches, they own fucking race nowadays, dog. Imagine if God was a fat bitch, bro. We probably would have no water. That shit would be gravy. Everything would be edible, dog. Everything would taste like pork. Like, dog, I couldn't even imagine being like a fat nigga, like some big, chunky, rolling down the street ass nigga, dog. That ain't, that's just ain't for me. Now, don't, don't, now don't go fuck with them fat bitches because they will hawk your ass down, my nigga. Just because they breathing like they beatboxing, nigga, that don't mean shit. They will continue to run and they will catch you. And once they grab you, it is OV, dog. It's OV, my nigga. Anyway, man, I'm gonna end the story right there, dog. That was, that was definitely fucking wow. But if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, dog. I'm on there all the time, flexing, of course. Mm -mm. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up on it, you know what I'm saying? More thumbs up equal faster uploads of real nigga stories. And make sure if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I got a whole bunch of player shit in store and coming soon. But anyway, dog, I gotta go. Real niggas stay up and I am out. Swag team, bitch, zombie gang, cuz.